In this lesson, we are going to learn about data types with programming. Serial monitor is a variable in programming, and particularly in Arduino. ESP32 starter kit from SunFounder. This is the best ESP32 learning kit from SunFounder. It has this ESP32 microcontroller, which has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This board can do everything Arduino Uno can do or many other Arduinos can do, plus extra more features. Because we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the possibilities are endless. You can get connected to the cloud or do the control or read information or values via your mobile device or your desktop or over the cloud from a far location. It comes with a camera extension kit where you can stream the video over Wi-Fi either through the cloud or to your network and also it comes with micro SD card where you can save uh, images on the micro SD card or you can write from the device any information log the information on the device and read it back you can power the board using this included 18650 lithium battery and it has built-in charger where you can connect micro USB and charge the battery the kit comes with 320 pieces of component that you can learn tons of projects. You can go to documentation, a reference, and under the reference you will see data types here, and then we can select any value that you want. And here is a data sheet from Arduino official page. If I go with the data sheet, data types, uh, if I go to the data types, it says Boolean. Bool also can be written as Boolean or Bool. Both of these are acceptable. Then we have byte, car, double, float, int, long, short, and then string, size t. We have size t, string, and string like this unsigned character, unsigned integer, and unsigned long, these are the three, and then void uh, word. If I click on the word, the word can store unsigned number of at least 16 bits. Pay attention, it says at least 16 bits. Here is a data sheet from Espressif the data types, unsigned variable, un, un, and then int, 8 bits. So this is signed. So this U8 mean unsigned 8 bit. This is signed 8 bit. And if you want unsigned 16, you use this as well. And then signed integer. And if you want to use this signed 24 bit, you can do so as well. And then unsigned 32 and signed 32 bit. Data types with programming. This applies to most of the programming concept, but we are, but we are looking at the context of Arduino. Arduino stores data based on the type. It is to use memory efficiently and make data and processing secure. For example, we should not store 576 and this large number, as you can see here, 87,654,321 in the same space. This is, if you look at this box, there is a big box and we have small ball. So it has a lot of empty space. We need smaller box for this. For that reason, the same concept applies in programming, and we use a data type to allocate space. Before that, we have to understand the meaning of bit. Bit is a smallest piece of data that is stored or processed. For example, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 is a 6-bit data, and data is stored in computer or memory in terms of bits, which are 0 and 1. We don't have 5 or 8 or something. Everything is being converted to 0 and 1 and processed and stored. 
So 8 bit is 1 byte. That's another term. This is very unusual, but this is how it is. So 8 bit is 1 byte. And bit is usually written, written or starts with small b, like 12b. And then byte. Byte is written with capital B. Now, the first data type that we are going to encounter or use a lot is integer. Uh, when we store a data, for example, 85 or minus 25 or 1,200 or 5,623, so these are integer, and we define them w uh, with a variable int. So 32 bit, so it will be 2 to the power 32 minus 1. This is the largest, like 2 billion something. Plus 4 byte is 4 times 8 is 32. It's 32 bits. And Arduino, do we also use 32 bits? ESP32 uses also 32 bits. Now. This is just an example, Arduino Uno 16 bits. This is the value that we are getting, and Arduino uh, or ESP32. These are minimum and maximum values, just 2 to the power 15. This will be 2 to the power 31. And this is referring to bits. And the other type of the variable uh, of data type we use is character, and character is to store A, lowercase or capital. D, dollar sign, ampersand, anything that you type uh, in computer is called character. And it's 8 bits, so 2 to the power 8. The maximum value is 255 because uh, 0 is also counted. That's why the maximum is not 256. And then we have float, and float is used when uh, you want to work with 3.05 or 0.672 or 145.78 so these are floating point digits or numbers and it can hold from minus this value to plus this value this means minus 3.4028235 this e means exponent or times 10 to the power 38 this means plus 38 and the same way in here, uh, but keep in mind that uh, the float has only 6 to 7 decimal digit precision. For example, 6.0 divided by 3.0 may not equal to 2, because the floating point is rounded. The double is another name for the float. People use it the same way as before. And, and then we have unsigned integer. It's just for positive numbers, and it will not allow negative. For example, 18 or 134. And Arduino Mega uses 65,535 uh, is the maximum, and Dewey and ASP32 uses the maximum value is this, 4 billion something. And then when we work with a string, for example, hello or I love Arduino, we are, we are storing this in a very uh, data type called string. And we have Boolean. When we work with true or false, we use Boolean and uh, the value of true is 1, false is 0. This is very simple and it takes Now let's see how we can define variables. If we want to, for example, define an age of someone, of because we know that num it's a number, we will use uh, integer, int, with lower case. So this is called data type. We write a data type, then we write variable name, then we write equal sign, and then we assign value to that variable. This is our variable. And, for example, in here, we are defining data type of integer. The name of the variable is gain, and this time we have minus, so integer can hold negative value and positive values. 
if you uh, want to use, for example, age and you, you know that you will never need negative value, we can use unsigned in front of n. So this means this value has, uh, this variable will not hold a value with a sign. So it, it means it's unsigned. And the same way this is data type and variable name and the value is assigned. If you want to just use one character, dollar percent alphanumeric alphabet or whatever, we use car. Some people also incorrectly pronounce it char. So this is car, refer to character. So the data type, the data type is written as car with small c h a r, and this is a variable name. And we put our assigned value. Pay attention, we use single quote that refers to one character for defining car value. The other type of value when you need to work with money or any value that has a floating value or decimal points, then we use float. We use data type float, for example, with small f, and this is a name, in this case price, and this is assigned value. Uh, there is another data type called double. Double is the same as float in Arduino. And then we have string when we want to uh, put a text. This is just one word. You can have multiple words, long text. Uh, it, that, that is a string. So we type a string with lowercase s, t r i n g, and variable name and assigned value. Pay attention for the string. We use double code. It has double at the beginning and double at the end. Another data type is called Boolean when we work with true or false. And this is a data type you type Boolean and then for example variable name is done and done is equal true. So the, you cannot have different values except true or false. And let's see now how we can update a variable. Let's say you have defined a variable called age of type integer and the value is 32 and you want to change it. To change it we simply write the variable name equal 26. If this variable is not defined above this will give you error because the definition is uh, very important because it determines the type. It must be done and then we can update it. So now this age is updated instead of 32 it's now 26. You can also update it like this. You can get the same age, plus 3, and it's, it's now 36. This age is now 36. Now, you can define a variable without a value, without initializing it with a value. You can type type and uh, variable type, and then the name, for example, in this case, int your int or integer, and then age without a value. But later on in the code, you can say age is equal to 26, and that age will now have uh, assigned value. The same way you can have boolean equal true for example and you can change it later on to um, this variable done is changed to false. For variable name we have to pay attention that uh, you cannot define, uh, you cannot use any word that you want. There are some limitations but uh, pretty much you are free to use. For example in this variable called age you cannot have int because int is an integer and it's a reserved value uh, so this will uh, give you error we cannot have two age because numbers are not allowed at the beginning it must be at the end or at the middle uh, so this will give you error you cannot have loop for example this is a reserved word for Arduino it will give you error you cannot have void because this is also reserved and you cannot have age dot me for example because uh, dot is not allowed but if you use underscore, this is perfectly fine and you're allowed to use it. Now let's see how we can use constant. For example, we want to have 32 not changed. In that case, we use const, c-o-n-s-t, in front of our variable. So when we say const, then it means you cannot change it. And this says that it is constant. And if you want to update constant variable and you say age is equal to here age is defined at 32 and you want to change it to 26. So this will give you error and it will not work. Even at the compile stage, Arduino will give you error because of this uh, constant.
Serial Monitor is one of the important elements of developing application. In Serial Monitor, you can print information for debugging, for verifying something, and also for practical purposes. And Serial Monitor is a screen that opens here at the bottom. You can click on this icon to open Serial Monitor and close it from here. This portion can be disabled or hidden from the bottom if you want larger screen or can click and open it but regardless even if this is here you can click and it will open the serial monitor for you serial monitor also can be opened by clicking at tools serial monitor or you can use the shortcut Control shift m or command shift m on mac to open it let me close it and now i'm pressing Control shift and then m it opens to initialize it or work with this, we type serial and then dot begin. And then here we type the number of uh, baud or bit rate that is uh, selected from here. This number that you select, 115,200, this number must match the number that we have here. Otherwise, it will not work. So how it works is that when you run the serial monitor, the information or data you're getting from microcontroller and it is sending it via USB, communicating, and the serial monitor is getting it via, via that port and printing it for you here. So this number must match, otherwise it will not work. And to print something, let's say I want to go, I can move this up and down and increase the size. And let's say I want to print a text. Hello, ESP32. So we type this main uh, object, and then the, there is print, and then our text will be inside that double quotation. Because this will print very fast, we are adding some delay here. It's just uh, I want to print the value slower. Slowly, let's click uh, to upload it. So here, this is now printing it like that. Hello, is P32. Uh, and that's a very good example for learning. If you want to clear the screen, just plus press this button. It will clear it for you. Now, in order for us to print it in the next line, we type here print LN. LN means print this and add new line at the end of it. So this LN is affecting the next line. Let's upload it. So this was the previous values, and now it is printing it like that. You can print a number with a decimal value. For example, if you want to print a number, just say 23, and it run it, it will print a, that number for you. Here, it is printing it now. If you want to print a floating point value, let's say, and if you want to determine number of decimal points, you can say two, and only two will be printed and it will be rounded. Let's see. As you can see, it has been rounded 88 because this was 87 and it's six, it has been rounded. If you want to print a binary value, let's this is the documentation page from official Arduino. If you go on the main page, click on reference, language, function, communication, serial, we will see it. And dimension for different type of Arduino, how many serial it has. Some of them have multiple, but we are not worried about that. I'm talking about the, the features here. These are the fun functions that are available, or the methods. You can say F. So these are all available with F serial or F available, serial dot available. So you can just put dot in front of them, serial dot begin, serial dot end, find, flash, or so forth. But we are using a lot this, this print or print LN. If I tell you here, print, if I click on print, here at the bottom, we use serial.print and ln. 
And if, if we want to have some formatting, we write it. For example, in here, we want to print a value of type decimal, hexadecimal, binary. And here, I've typed here to print the number 12 as binary. Serial.print ln and twelve hex. I will upload upload it later. So let's go to serial monitor. The binary twelve is this one one zero zero. If I upload it, it will print the hex. So the two line will be so C means twelve, and it has been printed here. If you want to learn about binary, decimal, hexadecimal, I have separate video. The link is below the video in the description. And if we click on File, Examples, go to Communication, number 4, and then ASCII Table, A-S-C-I-I. -I. And let's upload it. And code have been uploaded. I'm opening the serial monitor. Now, every time you want to restart the program, just press the reset button. I'm pressing it now. Just wait. And as you can see, it printed something that we cannot read. The reason for that is this is 9600, and I have to select 9600. And then reset it again. So... It has printed all ASCII value, ASCII table. These are the information for the board. We are not concerned about that. Here, it, exclamation mark is, for example, 33. Double quotation is 34. If you want for each for this 33, and hex is 21, and octal it is 41, and binary is like that. So all these characters can be read by the serial monitor and printed. These are all capital letters. And then we have lowercase letters and these characters. 